Hello everybody, we'll continue our series about the history of Egypt. Last time we spoke about background information of Egypt and, and, about, and about the prehistory, old, middle, new kingdoms of Egypt. Now we'll talk about foreign invasions of Egypt, you could say, or foreign control. We'll start now with Persia. Persia controlled Egypt from 525 BC to 404 BC. But then they were repelled by the Egyptians and then Persians conquered it again from 334 to 332 BC. And after that came the Greeks who were led by Alexander the Great who conquered the Persian Empire in 332 BC. And after his death his empire was split and one of his generals named Ptolemy took control of Egypt from 332 to the 30 BCE. Until the Romans came and they conquered Egypt from 30 BC to 1618 AD. And then at this time a war happened between the Sassanid Empire. That was in Persia and they controlled Egypt from 618 to 628. But then they gave back Egypt in a peace deal to the Romans. And then the Romans controlled Egypt for nearly 10 years until the Rashidun Caliphate came and conquered Egypt in 640. They conquered Egypt in 658 AD. And then came after them the Umayyads. Then came the Abbasids. But in 868 AD, the Abbasids, I mean, <clears throat> an Abbasid general named Ahmed bin Tolon took Egypt for himself and made it his province and it's known as the Ptolemaic dynasty or the Ptolemaic empire that ruled between 868 till 905 until the Abbasids took control of Egypt again and here are some, pict some pictures of the art of the Ptolemaic mosque that still stands until today and so the Abbasid caliphate took control of Egypt again from 905 to 935 until another man named Ikhshid, Ahmed bin Ikhshid, as I remember, or his family name was Ikhshid, and he took control of Egypt from 935 till 969. And then we'll know what happened later in the next lesson or next video. And thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed. And thanks again.